Good morning, YouTube. This is Afnan from Afnan Aquaponic. This is my second video after so long staying silent, not doing any video or anything on aquaponics. Uh, I apologize to all my viewers for being missing from the scene for quite some time, more than two and a half years probably. Um, there's a lot of things uh, been going on. I've retired from my work and busy looking for other opportunities. And aquaponics will have to be put uh, on the shelf for a while. And also due to some construction work behind my house, they're digging the back lane. I have to dismantle all the aquaponics uh, system. It takes some time to do that job. Uh, the, the, the council, the town council are laying some cable at the back. So after I've removed all those uh, set, I have no time to really put it back up. Uh, then, one or two months back, I have some time there on to myself. I'm starting my aquaponics system back. However, as you can see on the right, this is a very small setup, which uh, I feel mm, due to the unavailability of space in my area, my home, I'm embarking on the opposite end of the aquaponics, going towards miniaturization. Miniaturization of aquaponics is much more difficult as compared to a medium scale aquaponics because the siphon, the water control, the amount of water, volume of water in the system is very limited. So I have built this very crude uh, prototype to test out. And I'm sure those that are uh, familiar with my aquaponics system have seen that I have made a few single barrel setup uh, using totally one barrel, flip it over and uh, mount it to the bottom piece. That kind of setup is not really that, not really work that well due to the water volume is uh, very much less. Okay, the siphon is flushing. I'm testing out this uh, system. I did not uh, put any grow media or any grow bait yet. I'm basically cycling the water. I'm putting in a new outlet. Uh, not really new, I, I put in an aeration outlet partly is to reduce the noise level and also to uh, give aeration. Yesterday I made a mistake of coating the siphon at 20 millimeter. No, it is a 15 millimeter pipe siphon. Apologize for that. And as usual, I need to tune the siphon to make sure it works. And so far, it's been running without any problem. I've put a few bricks inside the grow bed so that the water volume is not that um, much so that uh, I do not need to wait for long for the siphon to operate. Now it's flashing. I'm not sure whether you can hear it or not, but it's flashing. And it should cut out with that family burp that you're going to make. Okay, this setup I made is from a single 200 gallon barrel. Cut it for growth media area and the fish area. Okay, you're going to cut out. Wait for the burp. Take some time. Yes, that's the famous burp of a siphon. So, I, be, I will be monitoring this for a few days. Uh, only then I will tidy up the system. The wiring, electrical wiring, as from yesterday's video, is not really that uh, tidy and it's going to be quite dangerous in that situation. I'm uh, closely monitoring it. I've ordered a few inline connectors so that I can 
install it and make a pump replacement easy. The pump I use is a very uh, low wattage pump, about 25 watt. Uh, 25 watt uh, pump consume negligible, negligible amount of electricity and probably going to cost uh, Malaysian ringgit about five ringgit or in US dollar probably five dollar. Uh, in US dollar probably one dollar per month on electricity. I did not use uh, any aeration due to my siphon is sufficient to provide aeration uh, as long as it's run 24 over 7. And this setup only completed yesterday as you can see from yesterday's video. And I will be tidying it up, making it better. But as a prototype, it's, it's good. It's good to test. I've cut the extra angle iron so that it will not be that dangerous with me working around the grow bit. And uh, as I showed yesterday, this grow bit is a bit in the shaded area. So I have to see what plants are capable of growing in this uh, environment. Fish, I will probably introduce fish to the systems once I am satisfied that the siphon works very well without any failure. The system has been tidied up so that there will not be any electrical failure. And I'll be cycling without any fish for probably one week or so. I may add up uh, some um, seaweed extract just to start up the system or I can put uh, some old hydroton that I still have in the system so it will accelerate the, the notification process of the system. So all in all, it's going to be a new um, series or a new beginning for me in terms of aquaponics in a very small uh, scale. A small aquaponics is good because I'm experimenting this kind of setup so that everyone can set their own aquaponics system. Even if you are living in condominium, um, apartments or any high rise in Malaysia, you can have a quite a small footprint, roughly around four square feet of space that is all required. And you can experiment with plantings, uh, simple plants that you may use in your day-to-day -day cooking, and some ornamental fish. I'm not recommending fish like tilapia in this small kind of setup but ornamental fish that will keep the nitrification process ongoing. So, uh, that's about it for today. And I hope uh, uh, this start is something going to be uh, beneficial to all of us that been following my aquaponic uh, channel. And again, I apologize for not been doing any video for a very long time. Thank you very much. Bye.